Back off, you! Of course, lads. The world can be a dangerous place, especially for mice. Stay out of trouble now. You can depend on it. Cheerio! Whether we encounter dangerous, life-threatening situations or not, all of us live in grave peril of something even more serious that we cannot see. <laughs> I'm talking about the peril of our eternal souls. The Bible teaches that all of us have sinned and fallen short of God's perfect standard of holiness. God's justice requires that sin be punished. Not a pleasant subject, but it's what the Bible teaches. We cannot save ourselves. We desperately need a savior. What does it mean to be saved? Have you ever heard the expression, saved by the bell? Others think of it as being saved by a skillful doctor. Some think of it as being saved from financial loss. Salvation is God's act of grace in saving people from bondage to sin in this life, as well as eternal condemnation when we die. Salvation is based on what Jesus Christ accomplished on the cross, not something that can be earned. How can we be saved? Let's take a look at the Romans Road in our shoebox Bible theater. The Bible declares that all of us are sinners, that every one of us abides under God's wrath because we have rebelled against God's laws. Because of our sins, we will face His holy judgment when we die. It doesn't matter if we are rich or poor, slave or free, benefactors or thieves, young or old, 
we will each stand before holy God and give an account of our lives. No one will escape his judgment. We don't like to think about God's wrath. It makes us uncomfortable. We would rather think of God's love and kindness, his patience and wisdom. While these are certainly true about his character, the Bible teaches that God is also holy and that his holiness demands justice. But if God's holiness demands justice and we're all guilty before him, then what hope do we have? Thankfully, there is a choice that we can make, a very clear choice, a choice between spiritual death and spiritual life. Jesus taught that there are two ways or roads in life, only two. One road is broad and easy to follow. It is the well-traveled road of the world. It is the road of the crowd. It is the road of carefree fun and laughter, of self-indulgence, where everyone does what he wants to please himself. Jesus said that many people travel this road, but that it is the road that leads to eternal judgment. Jesus called this place of judgment hell. The other road is the one less traveled. To enter it, one must go through a narrow gate. Jesus is that gate. Jesus said that he is the way, the truth, and the life, and that there is no other way to heaven but through him alone. Jesus said that the narrow way is difficult and that, sadly, few people find it. This is the way of the cross. It is a road that brings trials and testing, a road of self-denial. But it is also a road that brings true blessing, joy and peace. Jesus calls this road the way of abundant life. Jesus, the Son of God, came to earth to pay the price for every person's sins. Because of his sacrifice, we have a clear choice. We may turn away from our sins and turn to Jesus by faith in order to receive eternal life. Or, because of unbelief, we may reject Christ and pay for our own sins in eternal hell. The good news is that everyone who calls on the name of Jesus will be saved. Receiving Christ as your Savior is simple enough even for a child to understand. For me, He made you free. Jesus is mine. God bless me. The Bible says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. Becoming a Christian is as simple as saying no to your old way of life and saying yes to Jesus. It is believing that Jesus died for all of your sins and then receiving the free gift of salvation from God. Dear one, salvation is a free gift. However, we must receive it by faith. Wouldn't you like to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior today? You're scary in the river today. Who wasn't it, Luther? I thought sure we were fish bait. I sure love Theo. All we had to do was call for help. 
and he saved us. That's because he loves us, little mate. Theo sure takes care of us. Even when we're not aware of it.